Okay, it is Thursday, so it is time to move. Today I will be teaching a cardio sculpt class, and I will be using hand weights, light weights, anywhere from like maybe one, two, three pounds is even kind of pushing it a little bit, but you can actually just grab, if you have water bottles around your house, you can totally use that if you wanna use weights. If you don't wanna use weights at all, that is totally fine too. And maybe for just like the first time around, just trying this class, not use weights. Um, and yeah, if you need a little bit of water to grab nearby, that's good too. But we are going to go ahead and get started. So go ahead and find your place towards your mat there. And just start with your feet hip distance apart. We're just going to take a couple of nice deep breaths just to center ourselves. And then we're going to get moving. So just take a nice deep breath in. And then an exhale, pressing it all the way down. Just feeling weight in your feet, your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel. Taking a nice deep breath in and then all the way out. And now we're gonna start with our root and berry bounce. You're gonna take an inhale in. You're gonna exhale as you dive forward. You're gonna bend your knees. You're gonna extend right back up and bend in. So you're gonna take an inhale up. You're gonna come down. You're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna come in. So this is gonna lengthen out your hamstrings. We're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Taking an inhale as you lift. Exhale, reaching down, coming through. Good, as you inhale, coming up, diving forward bending those knees and coming down. We'll do one last one here. Good, and coming all the way up. Then we're gonna come into a turnout squat. So your feet will be hip distance apart underneath your knees, and you're just gonna take your hands to prayer as you just come down, and then you're gonna reach up. We'll take three more slow, so as you come down, and then you're gonna reach on up, keeping those shoulders down on your back, and reaching up here, and then we're gonna just pick it up to pace. So squatting, and reaching, squat, and then a reach. And again, keep squeezing. Try to power through your outer seat and really try to pull almost like your, I have had an instructor say like, bow your butt cheeks together. So kind of pull down. And almost like if you had bands attached to the ceiling that you're pulling them down. Good. We're gonna do a couple more and then we're gonna add a rotation with the pull. So in the next one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a rotation and a pull down. And we'll stay over on that right. So squat down and a pull and a rotate. Squat down and then you're rotating. Your arms are just framing your face or that knee. We'll do two more this side. Good. Last one, squat down and then let's just recenter. Good, just slow it down just a little bit. Getting deep in that squat and pulling up. Good, and then now we'll add that rotation over to the other side. Squatting down and pulling up. You'll start to feel your heart rate come up a little bit. We got three more and then we'll come back to that turnout squat. Good, last one, it's coming back down. Now come back down to your turnout squat. Let your breath just come down a little bit and just take little pulses down. Really press your hands together. We'll grab our weights, we're gonna come down for a plank and then add on, I'll give you a couple different variations. Do two more. And then go ahead and hold your, your turnout squat there and just breathe. Take a nice little stretch of the arms as you reach over towards the side. Good, taking an over as you cross, taking kind of arm to forearm as you stretch and then taking all the way back up. Good, and now we're gonna walk out to our plank. So just taking an inhale, exhale, chin comes to chest and you're just gonna roll yourself right back down coming so your hands are right underneath your shoulders try to stay in a nice long plant length not letting the hips come up too high or letting your hips fall down you should be in one solid line and really think like you're in a tear a piece of paper apart with your hands hands gonna be right underneath your shoulders if you need to come down to your knees that's perfectly fine just holding it right here as i walk you through variations you can stay on your knees or you can pop up on your toes at any time so just finding this nice Plank position here, just taking a nice deep breath in, pulling belly button into spine. And then again, if you wanna pop up on your toes, holding here, we're gonna add on. You're gonna take an inhale as you're just gonna lift your left leg up and hold it there. Keep thinking of reaching long through that back leg and then setting it down. Right leg is gonna lift up, squeezing through the glute and really think like you're gonna press and reach and press through the doorbell and coming back down. It really helps if you squeeze through the front of your thigh and your back of your thigh and then pressing down good last one on that right coming down 
and then just press yourself back into a downward dog getting a nice stretch and just taking a nice deep breath then we're going to come right back down and we're going to add some hip dips in so you can be on your knees or on your toes and you're just going to allow a slight dip of the left hip down and come up slight dip of the right and come back up and through slight dip towards the left slight dip toward the right you come to the center. you do that four times then your right foot walks out left foot walks up right foot walks in left foot walks in so it's a dip 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 right foot out left foot out right foot in left foot in we'll do it two more times so dip 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 out out in in last time dip 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 out 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 in good and just hold this plank here good holding for three more counts and we're coming back down to our knees and take a child's pose good the knees come down and then take a nice extension stretch here fingertips are going to walk forward and then go ahead and sit back on your heels open up your knees and take a nice child's pose there good and then go ahead and roll yourself up we're going to come into a little bit more abdominal work so you can grab your weights here or you can stay with that drink and i'll just show you in profile and then i'll face you but you want to take your hands behind the back of your knees glue your legs all the way together and you're going to roll down until a c shape you want to hollow out your abdominals keeping your shoulders away from your ears and really as you press your hands into your thighs feel like you're going to pull your elbows out and i'm engaging through my lats and through there so if you have water bottles or weights you can have them alongside of you starting sitting up nice and tall and then you're going to roll back down into what we call a high c position so take an inhale and then exhale as you round down through your spine and really try to keep your feet squeezed together your inner thighs engaged and it's going to help and we're just going to hold here and breathe and now you're just going to take a little scoop under so i'm going to pull my belly in towards kind of almost like if it's going to come down towards the back and then i'm just going to curl up and haul out a little bit more so i'm not pulling with my arms it's just an inhale it's a deepening of the scoop of your belly so i'm squeezing my inner thighs and then i'm curling up I'm squeezing my inner thighs and I'm curling. Now you can keep your hands supported throughout. I'm going to take my hands off in a little bit and then we're going to add the weights if you want. So you can go ahead and grab your weights. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to bring your hands together. You can either bring your hands in heart center with no weights or you can hold your weights in through here. But we're going to take an inhale as we rotate towards the right and then come back through center. Inhale as we rotate towards the left and come back through center. So now we're using our side waist and our obliques. And again, I really want to make sure that my knees are staying nice and still as I rotate from side to side. I'm going to keep my elbows up and then my weights. Now we're going to add on here on the next one. You're going to come in, take an inhale over towards your right. You're going to extend those arms. They're going to come in, come back through center. You're going to rotate, extend, pull in, come through center. You're going to rotate, extend, come in through center. And again, you can do this all without your weights. Or with water bottles it adds a little bit more of a challenge here good this will be the last one we do over towards the left we'll come over towards the right now you can stay here and just take a deeper rotation or you can extend those arms for more challenge and rotate deeper take an inhale exhale rotate deeper one more time take an inhale exhale rotate deeper arms in rotate all the way through the left side now take those arms out take an inhale exhale rotate deeper take an inhale exhale rotate deeper Good, hands come in, come through center, cut and just take little, take little inhales and exhales as you rock back and forth. You can hold back behind those arms as just a reset. Good, last thing here, you're gonna go ahead and just take those arms out in front of you and you're gonna draw in doing little bicep curls in through here. So each time you do a bicep curl in, you're scooping your abdominals back. You're not gonna see me move very much, but I'm pulling my belly in as almost as someone's kind of like punching me in the stomach each time I come in. Good, we'll do two more, and then we'll have a final hold. Good, and then just holding here. Good, reaching your arms up, scooping your navel in. Good, reaching your arms up, scooping your navel in. Good, one more time, reaching your arms up, scooping them here, good, and hold in three. Good, two, and one, coming all the way up. Just take your chest between your your legs and just take your right ear to your right shoulder head neck rolls down get a nice neck stretch good hopefully no tension has built good and then coming over to the opposite side 
Good, coming back through center. And hands, weights will stay on the side of you. Go ahead and come on up. We're gonna come into lunge, lunges with a little bit of some biceps. So I'll show it in parallel through. And again, with the lunge, you don't have to go super deep. But your right foot is gonna be forward. You wanna have your knee directly over your heel and your back foot will be behind you. Ideally, you wanna have your knee behind your hip. And we're just gonna start with little bit, um, a little drop down and coming up. Dropping down and coming up. Adding those arms as you lunge up and then come down. If you can, if you don't feel anything in your knee, you can come down a little bit deeper. Good, as you drop down. And I'm really powering through my right heel as I come up. Good, we're gonna do two more and then we'll add on. Good, last one, now hold it here. Now go ahead and take your arms up to a row position. Now we're gonna, we're gonna go all the way down and as we come up, our arms are gonna come in. So a little bit of a, a bent lateral raise in through here. So knee comes down and then pushing up. And you should be feeling this in your right seat. I'm starting to feel my glutes work good in my neck. And I, as I'm moving my arms, I'm thinking of reaching my elbows out to either side of the room and like dragging them behind the wall. And again, I'm not just flinging my arms with momentum, but I'm really thinking like I'm almost moving through a honey. Good, we're gonna do two more and then stay down. Last one, hold here. And now little pulses down as you draw your elbows back. Good, we have five, four, Good, three, good, two, one, hold right there. Good, you're gonna hold for three, two, and one. Good, come all up. Now we're gonna come in a wide turnout position. So this will be a little bit wider than we were before. Knees will be always over those heels. Now you're gonna drop your, your hips down. If you can get it to your seats and line your knee, that's fabulous, but if not, that's okay. And we're gonna just start doing some hammer curls here. So elbows will, a little bit of triceps here but elbows will be right in front of your shoulders. And again, shoulders stay down and away. If this is too much of weight, just drop your weight. But again, you don't wanna be up into your ears. And each time those hands come in, just drop your seat down. And again, you really wanna be thinking of spiraling those legs out. Good, we'll do three more. Good, last one here. Now hold it here. Now. What we're gonna do is you're gonna do little drops down and then you're gonna pull your arms up. Elbows just come to shoulder height and then pull up. So a little bit like our warm up earlier, but we're in a wider stance. You should feel more of your outer seat and outer hips. Good, we'll do two more and then we're gonna spin around over to the opposite side to do our lunge leg on that other side. Good, last one here. Now drop down to that, to that deepest point. Elbows will come into your side and little presses back or fanning back through your knee and little presses back through the arms. This is a great rotator cuff exercise. If you were on the shoulder mobility talk yesterday, I talked about rotator cuffs, but this will actually help you tap into that rotator cuff. Little external rotations here, good. You have five, good four, three, good two, and one and just hold it there. I always like to do a hold after every single position, really wake up those muscles, good. And now we're gonna rotate over to that opposite side. Left arm is gonna come through. Now we'll do a little bit of tricep work here. So you're gonna extend your arms out, take a little soft bend and a little extension. A little soft bend and extension. Now tricep work is I always see people go too heavy and they just use gravity and they end up being here. They end up just doing something like this, but I want you to be nice and strong down by your back, putting your shoulder blades in your back pocket Keeping your chest nice and open. Just doing just up an inch and just down a lift. And again, pressing through that back foot, the ball of the foot, and then anchor through your front foot on your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel, really powering through that heel. Now we're gonna drop down and then come all the way up. So just deepening that lunge a little bit and coming up. Again, going a little bit slower, but working with some depth. Good, we're gonna do three more and then we're gonna hold it down. Last two, good, last one here. Now coming down, extending those arms and little drop down, keep your arms stick to it, really punching those knuckles behind you and little drops down at the hips. 
Good, we have five, four, three, two, and hold. And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna just walk your step foot forward, your foot forward. You're gonna come into a chair position here. Arms are gonna come out nice and wide. We're gonna take a step out towards where we were in our wide turnout, and then we're gonna come in. You're gonna step out and then in. Again, try not to come up higher, but staying as low as you can. As you rotate out, you're just opening up through the chest, doing a little bit. And then as you come right back in, almost like you're just closing the door, you're giving a big bear hug and squeeze your inner thighs and give that moment of engagement. We got two more, and then we're gonna stay over and do little pulses before we come over to the opposite side. Good, last one here. Now find your depth. Arms can come out, and now if you've gotten, if the arms have gotten tired, just take, ditch your weights. You can come to heart center, but little pulses out through your hips. And we'll take a balance challenge. Good, and three more. Good, two. Now see if you can come up on your toes and add little pulses in through there. Again, really squeeze through your ankles, right above your knees and your heels. Good, three. Good, two. Hold it there. Drop your heels down. Lift your heels down. Drop your heels down. You should be feeling this through your thighs and your seat. Staying open and relaxed through your chest. Last two. Good, last one. Drop those hips down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open out towards your right and come back right in. So just reversing directions here. Good, opening out and pulling in. And really use your sideways to draw you back in. That's why we did oblique work to start so that we were always already activating through that side waist. And again, try not to pop up, but to stay nice and low. And now again, we're planted and putting most of our weight in that right foot. Good, three more, and we'll stay over towards the right. Good, and again, at any time you can ditch those weights. Good, last one here coming over, and little pulses down. And really try to kind of sit your butt bone down and pull Pull your front and back side body together. And I'm trying to be long from the crown of my head towards my seat. Good, three, two, one, hold it there. And little heel lifts here. So lift up and coming down. Try not letting your ankles splay over to the side. Last two, last one, hold here. And little pulses down. You should be feeling this Feeling this in my thighs and in my seat. Good, three, good, two. One, hold it there. Good, you have five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. We're gonna do one little final push here in a dynamic lizard lunge to a little bit of an opening out, and then we will stretch it out. So, coming into your lizard lunge, and I will, I'll fist you this way. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna come into a plank. You're gonna take your foot out towards the side. You're gonna take a rotation up. You're gonna come back, down. So foot outside that heel, come back and down. And we'll add on in a few just to get a little bit more of an abdominal push. This is a good way just to open up through the hips, open up through the chest. And I'm really pressing my stabilizing hand down. I'm trying to push up out and you want to think almost like if your hands are stuck in gum and you've got to actively peel it up off the floor good now we'll add on so lunge step forward rotate up lunge step back now keep that leg lifted you're gonna pull in extend out you're gonna tap outside come out foot comes in rotate up Hand comes down, foot comes down, then a, then a little Spider-Man crawl. Tap in and out. Foot comes up, rotate up, hand comes down, come back. Spider-Man lunge, good. And this is, again, lots of obliques today. Side body waist, whittling that waist, but then also really important with that stability of the spine, getting that rotation in, bringing out the waist. It's really good for digestion, too. Good, this will be last cycle heel, rotate up, coming down. Good, two reaches of the knee in. Last one on the left, coming up. 
Good. Foot comes back to Spider-Man reaches. And then just coming back into your plank, holding here. Good, take a nice deep breath in. All the way out, pike your hips up. Just taking a couple deep breaths here, just to let your breath come down. Coming back through center, now just weave that foot through. Coming into a nice pigeon stretch. You can come up onto your fingertips or you can come down into your elbows. Letting your breath come down. Good, and trying to put weight in that front of the hip. It'll help open up your hip flexors. Good, and then coming up onto your hands, uncurl your back toe, set your right foot back, and now go ahead and just weave your left foot through. And again, coming into that nice outer glute stretch, front of the hip stretch there. And again, if you want, you can come down to your forearms and just taking in a couple of nice deep breaths there. Good. And then coming back to your center and just coming up on towards your knees and you'll take a, I'll come into parallel or to profile here, but just take a lunge step forward with that right foot, pressing back through that right chin, just shift your weight ever so forward, set those sit bones up. And the most important thing is now just tuck your hips under, pulling your belly. Now, the more you squeeze your glutes, you're gonna feel more of a stretch in through that front of that left hip flexor. Good. And you can just reach your arms up overhead. And again, making sure that you're not overarching through your back. So stay engaged through your abdominals. And I'm thinking of like pulling my heel towards me. It's almost like I'm clawing the ground and I can feel more of a stretch that way. Good, hands become behind your back if you can. And go ahead and hold on to that back heel. And you want to actively be kicking that foot into your hand. You'll get a little bit of a chest opening stretch, but you'll feel um, a nice quadricep stretch here. Good, just taking a nice deep breath, kind of shining your sternum up towards the ceiling. Good, and then your foot's going to come back. Just extend that heel out, drop your hips back, coming into a nice hamstring stretch. And again, now with your hamstrings, you want to stay extended. It's almost like you're a little duck. You want to kind of send your tailbone back. Take a nice deep breath here. Now we'll round forward and you can let that foot come down. You can bring your hand to that foot. You'll get a little bit more of a, a front of the front stretch, chin stretch. You can just walk your hands over to the outside of that foot, get a little bit of more of an IT band stretch, which you'll feel on the outside of that hip. And then coming back to center. And if it's within your ability, you can come into a split, split stretch or you can just stay rounded forward. Most important thing, is just to keep those hips square. And again, you can round forward and just breathing here. Take one more nice deep breath. Good, just draw your heel back. Right hand comes to left, swing all the way through. And then now stepping forward with that left foot. And again, left heel under that knee, squaring off your pelvis, make sure that you're not hiking up, but that you're staying nice and neutral. And again, I'm pulling my heel back because I'm literally gripping the floor and I'm gonna get an opening through that right hip flexor. And again, you can intensify it a little bit more by just bringing your arms up overhead. You can take a slight, slight light bend over towards the left. Good. And again, actively pressing that shin down and actively squeezing your through that glute to open up that hip. Hand comes behind your feet. And again, trying to kick that foot back. And again, keep tucking under. So keep squeezing through your glute so you can get more of a stretch and through that front of that left quad or that right quad. Now we're gonna let that shin come down. We'll just shift our weight forward and again, square up your hips. Make sure that that sits bone is reaching back. And again, just like a little duck, just sending your pelvis back. Keep your abdominals engaged and you're just one flat line, plank line there and just hinging yourself forward and you'll feel a stretch going up through the back of your hamstring. Good, take another inhale and you can just round yourself forward. Pointing your toe, you can take that hand towards that foot or you can take it on the outside of the foot and you'll get a little bit more of a stretch in through that side. Good, coming back through center. Just rounding yourself forward. And again, if it's in your practice, just let you allow yourself come back into that split stretch there. Good, and you'll feel a stretch in the front of your right hip flexor and that left hamstring. Good, and then just draw the heel back, circle those legs back and through and just come through center 
We'll just finish just with our legs nice and crossed. Just taking a nice deep breath in. And then exhale as you press down. Good, nice deep breath in. And exhale as you press down. Good. And then just bringing your hands to the top of those knees, just taking, just feeling just nice and light. Hopefully you feel like you can levitate off your sits bones. And just kind of take a moment just to take a couple nice deep breaths in and out. Just kind of doing a little mental inventory of how your body's feeling. And again, just taking a moment to acknowledge that you took the time to move today. And hopefully you learned something about your body or were pleasantly surprised or just noticed something. Um, so just take one more nice deep breath in and exhaling all the way out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know um, how you like the class, if you have any questions or anything like that. But uh, that was our cardio sculpt class, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye.